Hey, this is Masud Combat, and welcome to another video. In today's video is a trio scream highlight of me and my trio. We came third place, and I will be going through it and talking through what we did wrong and what we did good, and our decision making and what I did wrong and good. I will be showing you guys from fourth zone. But before we jump into today's video, I just wanted to say if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing to the channel because I'm uploading videos just like this to help you out in this game, also in competitive. I will be uploading a ton of videos, uh, cash cops, trio cash cops, solo screams, uh, solo gameplays, tips and tricks and all those good stuff. So if you don't want to miss my videos, consider subscribe now. And also if you want to support me and select the video and go ahead in the comment section, type it and type your epic ID and I'll be adding some people back, maybe a shout out for the next video. And that's it. So now we're gonna jump right into the end game. So now right here we are trying to rotate to fourth zone with my teammate and we decided to uh, let the hill and drop down and because there was a lot of people and my teammate tried to cover me and also told me that they had heavy time so we had to separate ourselves from them and also we try to stay at the edge of the zone and that's really important um, what's important that that you want to be in a dead side of the zone kind of and also separate yourself from people that are near you they might jump into your box and grief your game so you want to be really careful um, you want to Pay attention to see your surrounding a lot and also listen to the comps that your teammates are making and always pay attention so you guys can support each other and also get to the next safe zone or it's gonna help a lot and yeah so right now we are chilling in the fourth zone waiting for the half and half to reveal itself and my teammate are in the cone and they're watching the surrounding and we are now waiting and chilling and once the half and half gonna reveal itself I'm gonna talk So right now we see that the half and half pulled north uh, up the hill so now we are trying to rotate from the edge uh, towards the up the hill or towards the um, bridge. Uh, it's kind of free but there is a team right here so we are kind of really careful and one of us was early ahead and two of us was behind and watching so we were kind of supporting each other and also right here we were reforming mats that we spent to rotate and as you can see i've been uh, gathering some mats and right here uh, my teammate was going up the hill and leading the path and we were supporting him from behind and also i saw a team right here and i decided to I'll uh, shoot the rocket launcher but that didn't hit him and right here I accidentally got hit and I should have put the wall to my left side and right here we are in uh, half and half and we are basically now waiting for the sixth zone so remember that uh, my teammate said that we have three launch pads and that we can use them for the moving zones so this is really important because you want to save your launch pad for half and half or the six or seventh moving zone because it's really important and it's gonna help you to rotate really easily without wasting 
any mats and that's why the reason that you want to save your launch pad always in competitive so right now the zone pulled east and we see it and we decided to to launch it to launch pad i mean to launch pad late and i didn't realize that we had like launch pad and i wanted to tarp for my teammate and my team has called out that we have launch pad and right here we are now looking for some picks for the people that are gonna rotate early and now the move the zone is moving and i decided to tarp but my team has called out that we have launch pad so there's no problem now right now we are just waiting uh, for the zone to reveal itself so right now we're waiting to put the launch pad we want to go late and we're now waiting and and i called out to put the launch pad late so we can rotate easily right now we rotated and we went up on this guy's metal and we are in the same box now it's really important to bring together and making a important call out when you guys rotate and this is really important because it's gonna help you guys a lot and to to communicate is really important now right now and I put the launch pad and I told them to use that launch pad so right now we are going there it's kind of going upwards but I tried to box in because I didn't see my teammates and I was following my teammate and he was doing a call out and doing the rotation I was only uh, following him but here by the accident and I didn't pay attention to the above me didn't protect my buff so that's why I got RPG so the takeaway here so you guys want to always protect your buff while rotating and also your sides because you're gonna say you're gonna rotate safely to the zone it's gonna be better for you also when you rotate watch the map consistently because if you don't watch the map you can't really rotate um, perfectly or let's say you can't rotate uh, in an efficient way so right now my teammate wanted to tarp and I was uh, and I said I'm gonna tarp don't worry and it's really important that you guys know who's gonna tarp and when to rotate make the good call out so right here my teammate says so let's drop down because it was going down the hill and we didn't want to stay up there right now i was RPGing kit and i got rpg from the below and i called out that they need to get to me and right now i edited we dropped down and i got rpg again by accident uh, always always uh, watch your sides watch your buff and also protect yourself right here and i said i'm gonna tarp just follow me and i just tarp for them but here there was a lot of teams and we just kind of got caught so right here we decided to drop down i decided to drop down really stupidly so he got unfortunately knocked by a guy he headshotted him while he was uh, falling so right here i got caught from a team to my boss and i decided to drop down but that was my mistake and i should have stayed uh, under it and stayed with my teammate but that's it that's how we came third place and i hope you guys really enjoyed this commentary and also let me know if you want to see more of this type of videos and i'll catch you in the next video take care